A shadow was cast over the broader market when Alcoa reported weaker-than-expected results to kick off earnings season. The stock fell 11 percent, its worst day in more than seven years. And this was the last report for Alcoa before it splits into two. Morgan Brennan dives deeper into the metal company's results. While Alcoa reported higher quarterly profits, revenue slipped as the commodity business continued to face pricing headwinds. But the higher performing value added segments that supply the aerospace and automotive industries also came under pressure. We have to admit that uh, we are seeing in some of the markets some near term challenges. On the, on the aerospace side, I mean, we're seeing that there's huge demand there and uh, there are teething problems on, uh, on the engine side particularly and some destocking on the aero, aero structures. This morning's report is Alcoa's last as a single company. On November 1st, the 128-year-old metals giant will split into two, a mining and smelting operation that will keep the Alcoa name, and Arconic, which will claim the more profitable value-added businesses that supply manufacturers with aluminum and titanium alloys. Analysts say while earnings weren't that big of a miss, it's the results in those Arconic segments concerning investors the most today, since 2016 revenue targets were lowered for all three thanks to challenges in aerospace and weakness in commercial transportation. If you think about what we traditionally think of Alcoa with commodities and alumina and aluminum, you know, the deficit outlook that Alcoa put out there is actually assumes that there could be a little pricing support in those markets. Um, the real problem, as you pointed out, was on Arconic, and that's where, again, the aerospace businesses, which is where most of the, the value resides in the split. So if there's going to be a little softness there and you have new industrial investors coming to the name, they're going to be a little concerned as what that 2017 outlook looks like. Seaport Global's Josh Sullivan has a neutral rating on the stock. But as earnings season gets underway, Alcoa's results set the stage for a potentially bumpy ride for many of the industrial giants it supplies, including United Technologies, which already warned that its engine production target for Pratt & Whitney won't get met. And Honeywell, which reports on Friday, also warned of lower sales, due largely to weakness in business jet engines. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.